Hey there, this is Bashtar from Mistake. Welcome to the video. In this video, I want to show you how to overclock your GPU for mining. I'm mining Ethereum using MB miner in Nice Ash, and my LHR mode is 1 and the LHR value is starting with 70. So, uh, why overclocking is important? It is because it gives us more hash rate for less power consumption. Another reason is overclocking could make our whole mining process more stable. So, two things I want to mention before I get started with anything. Number one, one is each GPU is different from the other. For example, if you have an RTX 30 TTI, the same as mine, when we overclock the GPU, don't expect these settings, these numbers that I'm using, work for you. You should find best results for your own GPU, and that's why it's it's okay if you have any other GPU. In this video, I'll try to to make you find the best settings for your own GPU. Another thing is each coin is different from the other. When you mine Ethereum, it's different from when you mine. Ravencoin. You know, nowadays with NB miner there are two modes, LHR mode number one, LHR mode number two. I have two different overclocking settings for each one of them. That's how it is. Okay, now let's get started with some terminologies. Okay, here we have GPU core clock. This this section is uh, representing the GPU core clock, which we can edit from here. And this section is representing memory clock, which we can edit here. This section, this one is the voltage. We can edit here. We can control it here. But be careful and please do not ever touch the core voltage here this one unless you are 100% sure what you are doing we are going to log the voltage but we are going to do it here and here is the GPU temperature we can make it cooler from here personally I have a fan curve so my GPU temperature is high I have a fan curve I'm going to activate it by clicking this button if you don't have a customized fan curve then by default when you click this you are setting the fan speed to the same number as the GPU temperature okay I have a fan curve if you don't know how to do it I have a video about that I explain it thoroughly just go check it and make your own fan curve I highly recommend that but if you know how to make it then this is my settings this is my fine curve well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log the voltage and the core clock to decrease the power consumption so what I would do is I'm going to enter the curve editor then I'm going to choose a number between 700 and 750 at the moment I'm going to choose 750 click the node and then press L then hit apply the apply button here the core clock and the voltage are locked so we would wait to see how efficient the GPU gets with just this locking okay so at the moment if you want to know how to make the core clock a straight line the link is down in the description go ahead check it and you would know more about the core clock and the curves overall okay now what we can do is we can give the core clock a negative value in general we do not need to give it a positive value mostly we will give it a negative value for the sake of power consumption so you can put it all the way to negative 502 or you can just give it a, a number in my case i'm going to give it like negative 250 how i know i should give this number well it is just like trying uh, over time so what you would do maybe this number is not the best value for you maybe it works maybe it's not the best value for you for that coin so what you would do you would try different values and yeah some gpus are more capable than the others even if they are the same okay okay now we have locked the voltage we have locked the core clock we have decreased the core clock as well and uh, we have activated the fan curve so the whole mining process now is more efficient and our GPU is cooler than before which is what we want right but there's one thing we need more hash rate so in my case for my RTX 30 TTI I should get above 75 and this is when the memory clock comes in okay the memory clock is is what gives you more hash rate but be careful and it is also the same that gives you a GPU or a system crash so this is when you should know the limit for your GPU how much can your system take in my case I have tried it like so many times I have crashed my PC so many times so it's around 1700 in your case if you don't know the limit for your GPU memory clock then you are probably going to crash your PC multiple times and that's okay we are here to learn we are here to get the best juice out of our GPUs right so yeah don't worry when you crash the the system then remember the number that caused that why because for next time you are not going to enter that again as I told you I can go above 1700 but at the moment, even if it gives me more hash rate, I'm not going to that number. I'm not going as high as that number because in the background I'm recording and my PC wouldn't be like that stable. I would just assume that. Uh, but let's start with that. What I would do is I'm going to give this 
a value so hit enter then hit apply now i have added 500 sometimes it is enough what i would do next is i'm going to enter 1000 then maybe i'll add an extra 200 this is only when i get more hash rate why is that because when my hash rate decreases then i know the memory clock doesn't have a role so i'm going to lower down the memory clock and that's when the gpu will be more stable the mining process will be more stable and i would get more hash rate which means more profit one thing i want to mention is that don't rush don't hurry for example when you enter a number for the memory clock wait for around two minutes and three minutes see how effective that number is so you would know the gpu will get stable then you would enter another number it's time for me to to go to the thousand so i'm going to enter another like 150 this is when we should be more careful with the numbers because this is when we are getting closer to crashing our, our system. So in your case, based on your GPU, based on your limit, you should do the same. And so with 1000, I was getting around 74 mega hashes per second. Let's see if adding another 150 would improve the hash rate. Now that I have a rough number for the hash rate, I'm going to add another 100. So, like, I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to put like a really big number because I'm getting closer to crashing my GPU. This is what you should do. When you mine, wait. When you put the memory clock, the core clock, see how stable that numbers make your mining process, okay? How profitable they are, how efficient they are. This is like a combination of all those stuff. Like, I mean, when you overclock for mining, you should like focus on all those things. This is what makes uh, the whole thing, like the whole mining process better. Remember, sometimes when you add more memory clock, at some point it will give you more hash rate, but it will make the GPU or make the miner less stable. So you should consider that as well. You should know that for your own GPU. You should know we should find the best results for your own GPU. notice is that adding another 100 gave me more hash rate now I'm going to add another 50 well adding another 50 almost adds some to the hash rate then I'm going to try 1350 Finally, I got to a conclusion that 1250 or 1300 are my best numbers for memory clock. So for the sake of stability, I'm going to choose 1250. So what you should do is when you overclock the GPU, leave it like that, leave it be, don't interact with it. One last thing is that you can save your profile. So this slot is for saving the profile. So click this button, the lock, and now you are able to save in one of the slots. I'm going to save it, for example, at three. Then I'm going to lock it again. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, suggestions, Please let me know down in the comments if this video was helpful like it if it wasn't please let me know and yeah subscribe to my channel that would help me a lot until next time stay safe